cold out this morning, but I wanted to go for a bike ride and I wanted to take the Hove Beta foldable um, e-bike out for a ride. And I just want to give you my impressions of this bike after having it for a month and putting some miles on it. So here it is. And today I've put about 19 miles on the bike. And so far the battery indicator tells me that I've used two of the five bars of power. So that's pretty good for 20 miles and I've had it in power level five. I've used the throttle only mode quite a bit going up some very steep hills and so far I've climbed about 2,000 feet. And I'm, when I'm riding this bike I really like the ability to uh, run very soft shock absorbers on the front. So in the shock absorber on the front you can go to very stiff to a very relaxed type ride. One of the things I discovered is when I fold the bike up, if I'm not careful, I can scratch the frame. When you fold down the handlebars, they just about touch right here. And if you're not careful, as you can see, you get a scratch in your frame. I would recommend putting on some protective tape, which I use on my road bikes so that when I put bags on the bike, it'll protect the paint. I've been running the back tail light all morning on my ride and so far so good. Not very bright in the bright sunlight but when you go into the shade and there's a car coming up behind you it comes in quite handy to keep you safe. So how are these tires in the snow? Well when the snow is powdery you can actually ride this bike through the snow maybe four or five inches deep with no trouble but when it gets crusty or icy you really have to watch out as I found out this morning um, I didn't fall but it came close. The tread here comes in quite handy when you're riding in the snow. Another feature I've really come to like about this bike is the kickstand. I also ran the front headlight. I turned it off now, but this headlight is extremely bright, even in the daytime. So it's good for any oncoming traffic or any car coming out of a driveway as you're moving along. The brakes are still working quite well. All things considered, I really like this bike. So I think it's time to get back on the road and put a few miles on it and see how much battery I have left. On my ride today, I just had to stop and take a look at this waterfall. It's pretty awesome. We've had a lot of rain lately and that's the result. Let's look on the other side of the bridge here. Wow. Beautiful in the summer, it's beautiful now. Just wish it was uh, above freezing. If you park the bike and you leave the controller on, it automatically goes off after a couple of minutes. And when it goes off, the trip meter resets to zero. So I had 19.6 miles on it. Then it showed that I had zero miles on it. And now I've got 2.9 miles. So when I get back home, I'll total it up and see how many miles I got and see where the battery is. But let me tell you, it is a beautiful day out for a bike ride, even though it's cold. I think it might be about 33 now. Coming back into Riverton, and I'm gonna go down my favorite little side street up here. If someone were to ask me what one of my favorite things about this bike would be, I would say that torque sensor. 
It's so nice. On this ride this morning, I've had the power set to three and had it really in the highest gear that it'll go in. And it gives you just a little bit of a thrust with the electric motor. And as you pedal, you're still getting some exercise, but it certainly flattens out the hills. One point three miles. I think I averaged about sixteen to eighteen miles an hour. I love this e-bike, it's a torque monster. Why do I love this e-bike? Because it's comfortable and it has a very smooth ride. So why is the ride so smooth? Well, it's that torque sensor. Unlike less expensive e-bikes with a cadence sensor where you have to spin and spin to maintain your speed, the torque sensor feels the pressure on your pedals and it'll go faster or slower depending on how much pressure you put on. And this Hove Beta is not only a bike with a torque sensor, but it's also foldable. So you can throw it in your van or in the trunk of your car. Keep in mind though, it does weigh about 65 pounds. So what about the battery life? Well, I put 35 miles on the bike today. I went up and down hills. You saw me, I did that hill that was 1.3 miles long. And that combined with the other hills that I went up and down, I did get 35 miles out of this battery. And when I got home, there was still a little battery left over. So if you're riding on a smooth, flat surface, I think you'd get 40 plus, maybe even 50 or 60. So it all depends on your body weight and the terrain, doesn't it? Don't forget that Hovesco also provides a tool set with a bike. But I will say one thing, there's not a wrench to take the back tire off the bike. So when you go out for a ride, make sure you carry a 19 millimeter open end wrench. Uh, very inexpensive, you can get them at any hardware store. That along with your tube repair kit that you would take on any bike ride. So what do I think? Am I gonna keep this bike? I sure am. Is it gonna replace my road bikes or my touring bike? Absolutely not. But it does have a place in my bike stable. So that's it for the review of the Hovesco Hove Beta foldable e-bike. I like the bike a lot and I think you would too. So again, thanks for watching and happy pedaling.